How's it going, everyone? It is me, Psycho Blue, conductor of the Hype Train, Mr. Hype Gems, hashtag cross wires, hashtag Street Fighter Cross Tekken. Today, I'm going to teach you guys how to install Street Fighter Cross Tekken on your Windows 10 machine in a way where you can play in the online tournaments with us here on our Turo's channel, NYC Furby. Most people have forgotten, but Street Fighter Cross Tekken has rollback and shockingly stable rollback given the year it was made. This was one of Capcom's first attempts at rollback. Um, as Third Strike Online came out only a few months prior. So, if you want to play Shooter Cross Tekken with rollback, and thus play in our online tournaments, you will need Game for Windows Live. Now, you might be asking yourself, Psycho Blue, why do you need Game for Windows Live if that's what caused the black screen crash for Windows 10? The reason why is the one that comes with Steam um, is an outdated version of Windows Live that does not necessarily work well with Windows 10. Now keep in mind what I'm about to show you will only work for Windows 10. So I will also be attaching a link to a file that Arturo will probably put in the uh, description of this video. I will request him to do that. So first you'll have to download that file that I showed you. And if you can't use that file, you can just look for the final version of Game for Windows Live that is included in one of the Windows Live Essential packages dated around mid-2014. And I can also provide a link to that particular Windows Live package a little bit later, in case this patch does not work for you. For now, let's get started. So I have uninstalled Street Fighter Cross Tekken on Steam, and I have downloaded what we call the online patch. Now, we call it a patch, but it's more like an installer that uh, clears off all the registry issues that is interfering with Cross Tekken working with uh, Windows 10 and installs the correct version of Game for Windows Live without having to hunt down the, uh, the Essentials file. So I'm in the process of uh, opening the thing right now. You see the executable right here. G Fire Cross Tekken online patch. I'm going to click it right now. I will be installing this. All right, there we go. It asked me if you wanted to uh, update it. You want to say yes. I select my language. So check this out. So right now it's saying before continuing, make sure you have a clean install of Cross Tekken. So what I'll need to do is first I'll have to install Cross Tekken clean. So let's see how long that takes. All righty. Looks like that should do it. Should do it, I think. All right, yeah, this is the one I want. All righty, let's see how long this takes. So this game is about, it's allocating disk space right now. It's five and a half gigabytes. This should take a couple minutes. So in the meantime, we will let this do its job and we'll come right back to it when it's time for the next step. So hold on just a moment, everybody. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back. We have finished the clean install of Street Fighter Cross Tekken. So what we are going to do now is we are going to use the online patch. So you see with the online patch, um, it needs to detect where Shiro Cross Second has been installed. So we're going to let this run and see what happens, see if it detects it. All right, so it looks like I'll have to find it myself. I'm going to go into Browse. I do believe it is this one. And we are going to go to Steam Library, Steam Apps, Common, and here we will find Street Fighter Cross Tekken. We are ready to get started. So he says, uninstalling current version of Game for Windows Live. Okay, now normally this would be it, but a recent Windows 10 update has made it so that you need one more step now, and I'm going to provide you that step right now. Go to the Windows Store and look for something called Xbox. You want 
this specific one that says just Xbox. This is the Xbox app. And what you'll be doing is you'll be installing this. And once this program opens, I will tell you what needs to be done next. See, it won't take long, only 53 megabytes. Okay, we're ready. So in order to play Street Fighter Cross Tekken with its vaunted rollback netcode, you will need a working Microsoft password. And if you are someone who has played Street Fighter Cross Tekken in the past, you will need the same Microsoft login that you used previously when you played this game on PC. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to log in. Looks like I'm already logged in. But if not, um, when you do sign in, I'm going to sign out first and then sign back in. Sign in. And now I'm going to enter my ID stuff. All right, looks like I don't need to. It already recognizes me. You would have to enter your Microsoft um, ID. That includes the name and the password for it to work. And if you don't remember what you used to use, just use uh, whatever you use to log into stuff like Skype and things like that. It's typically an email and a password. So if it logs you in, then you know that whatever you'll be entering in Street Fighter Cross Tekken is going to work. Um, so let's get started. And if it doesn't work, probably because you have an outdated Steam key, you might have to buy a new one. Hope it doesn't come to that. Thankfully, they are very cheap. So if you do have to do that, it won't be much of a difference. Alrighty, let's get started. Let's see what happens. Alright, looks like things are booting up fine so far. All right, looks like you are good to go, ladies and gentlemen, which is fantastic. So real quick, before we continue. If this is your first time logging Street Fighter Cross Tekken at all, typically that first login is going to take a while. So do not think it is an infinite turning loop, because that is not correct. I have heard people wait as long as 10 minutes, sometimes 15 minutes, for that first login. But once it finishes, and you get to this screen right here, it's instantaneous from that point onward. So everyone, if your wheel is turning after you log in and Street Fighter Cross Tekken, be patient. Wait until it finishes turning. Go and do something. Minimize the window. Have a mimosa or something. Because when it's done, you are looking at a really nice fighting game. And it has rollback netcode. On top of that, turn the volume down a bit. There we go. On top of that, it has some other good stuff too. Watch this. Live. Let's go to the replay channel. Look at this. There are still matches in the archives. Some of them as new as last month. This one has to be new, because I remember all these players. Let's do this. Look at this. You can go all the way back in cross second history as recent as a month ago and check out all the action with rollback goodness. All right. Looks like things are good to go. So I'm going to wrap up the stream right here. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Psycho Blue, conduct the high train, Mr. Hype Gems, hashtag crosswires. Thank you guys for tuning in, and be sure to leave a comment on this video. And if there are any more questions, I will answer them as best I can. I'll check by that video periodically. Talk to you guys later. Bye.